I just had to jump on today and share with you the amazing product, I think it is anyway, the PDF that Stampin' Up! is offering as a fundraiser to help in this pandemic time. They've created a PDF that we can print out on our paper and then cut with our dies, our punches, our paper trimmer, and use however we want. There are 15 pages of sayings. You'll see they have some in black and then some in color. I'm just going to kind of flip through them here. Um, no saliva was used on this envelope. I know I've gotten that from some people. I can't wait to social undistance with you. And just all these different greetings that we can use that are so appropriate for the time that we're living in right now. You can get this. Go to stampinup.com. Click on the Give Back picture. It's at the very top. It's $12 for this. You print it and you can use it uh, for as long as you want it. Um, and some of these sayings will work even after the pandemic. Like this one here. Wish this was a real in-person hug um, that you can use anytime. Um, thank you for your service could be used anytime. We're in this together. Um, Though we're not together, we're close at heart. And then this one here you can fill in. Though miles apart, though houses apart, states, we're close at heart. And you'll notice all of them are black and then they have colors. And what's really neat is at the very front of this document, they have a page that tells you what punches you can use to punch out or what dies to use, as well as telling us what colors uh, would coordinate with our cardstock. So this is an amazing project and I just wanted to show you one, or two actually, two projects I made with this. So it's sending hugs from a distance. Then I used the Forever Lovely stamp set, wishing you a lovely day. And then I used the, uh, I believe it's Varied Vases. Yep, Varied Vases for this here. Um, these two items are on the clearance list, so they're going away on the last chance, so you'll want to get those. Let me show you real quick how easy this was to do. So I took my sheet that looked like this, and I cut it down this way. I just watched Sarah's video, and she suggested going across. doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. So I cut it like this. Then I took my paper trimmer and I trimmed off the greeting. Then I grabbed my heart punch, slid it in there. When you use the black and white, then you can do whatever colors you want. Punch that out. And these are the heart punches that we have. And then I took the scalloped one. These come in a duo pack together. And I punched it out in Pool Party. So you can see I made my layer like that. Let me show you how I made my fun little pocket here. You'll see this is very, it looks a little complicated, but it's really quite simple. And I'm going to give you a challenge at the end. So... Uh, be listening for what the challenge is. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your paper trimmer and our designer series paper is four inches across and five and a half down. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark up one and three-fourths inches paper trimmer here and mark up one and three-fourths. Then I'm going to put that dot in my uh, line for my cutter and go right up to the point here. Okay. And then we're going to just cut right down there. Now the little triangle that you cut off you're going to slide it over to a fourth of an inch, like that, and trim that off. 
So you've got one little piece that we're not going to use. Now what you'll do is you're going to take the designer series paper and we're going to use dimensionals that I've cut in half and we're going to place them on the corners. I put them in just a little bit so they aren't real visible when you look at the card. And then at the very top, I want to use regular adhesive to help hold that down. So I cut a piece of pool party cardstock. It's the same size as the designer series paper. So it's four across and five and a half down. Take my paper off. Going to take just a little bit of our mono adhesive. And create my pocket. So it looks like that. Alright, so I just noticed my paper's upside down. Alright, so there we go. Now this piece here I'm going to glue directly down. Line it up on the edge, like that. Then I wanted to color in my little hearts there, so I took the um, Petal Pink Blends. Um, I had a customer call me today asking why the blends were on the last chance list. And the reason they're on there is because we aren't going to sell them individually as a light and a dark now. They'll only be sold as a pair. So you're going to want to check your uh, blends if you didn't buy them, the light and dark together, and figure out which ones you need because those will only be available for um, until the new catalog comes out and then you will only be able to get them in pairs. All right. Now I wanted my heart to pop up, so I'm going to use more dimensionals here. Should be using the uh, take a pick tool like Dana Davis showed us how to do. Alright, so that's going to go right there. And then I wanted to add my greeting like that. And I wanted to put a border behind it. So I'm getting better at this fussy cutting. So what I did was I just took my strip, put some mono adhesive, and if you put it in a corner, that gives you two straight lines. And then you can either use your scissors or you can use your paper trimmer to cut it. I'm going to go this way so I don't cut all that paper. And both of these actually I'm going to just put down with regular Tombow. I can just see so many uses with this PDF. Uh, the PDF sells for $12 and all the proceeds are going to help people with COVID, um, either the healthcare workers or um, people that have it. So it's a great cause. All right, so there's our two greetings like that that I printed out. And then this is what I stamped from the Varied Vases and the Forever Lovely stamp set. Now I wanted to show you that if you didn't have designer series paper, what you could do. So this one here, I cut out the colored images and it told me on my cheat sheet at the very beginning that it was Rich Razzleberry and flirty flamingo. My printer, I think my, my colors are a little off, so I really wasn't happy with the pink, so I went with the purple. 
the Rich Razzleberry. So this one I did sending hugs from a distance. Wish this were a real in-person hug. And then I took some little hearts from one, of, let's see, from the Forever Lovely stamp set and added them and again made my pocket. Just to show you how versatile this out this layout is, here's one of the ones I made. I wanted a masculine card. It doesn't show you the PDF, but just to show you how easy it is to take this layout design and make a simple card to give away. So I hope you'll go online and order the PDF. Um, even as demonstrators, we're not making any money off of this. Um, we're doing it to help raise funds as well. So if you have any questions, uh, reply below. Oh, and my challenge, take this layout. I'll post the dimensions um, in a comment below and show me what you make with this layout. Thanks.